Hello and greetings everyone. It is an absolutely lovely day here in the northeast. Yeah, I'm just out uh, not far from where I live. Just enjoying a little bit of the, uh, the countryside, which is good. We need to all start thinking about how lucky we all are. There's a lot of us don't realise that. We're lucky, we're lucky in a lot of ways. And with this chance to reflect the time on our own. And we look up at the sky and do aeroplanes around and nature's there. It gives a chance to think about the good things we have. You know, we're missing a lot of good things. We're missing with family. We're missing with friends. Those that are away from work are missing the workmates. But also it's good because nature's recovering. And also gives a time to study. To say chance to read more, to study more about the gods. I found myself studying an awful lot at the minute. I'm reading a lot of books about the gods. Books I've already read before, but now I get a chance to look more into it. To close end to it. To start thinking more. Now a lot of times my mind's been that clouded that um, I can't concentrate on normal things. Sometimes I'm forgetting people's names and my memory's getting really bad. It's like, you know when you look on, the, on a film and you see an actor and you think, oh, what's that actor's name again? And you've got that many names going through your head and you keep thinking, oh, what's his name, what's his name? And my mind's like that at the minute. The solitude's really starting to get to us. I'm starting to try and think of things and I've got that much going on in my head, I can't concentrate. But, when it comes to the gods, my mind's clear. I'm starting to have abstract thoughts. Say that again, because it didn't come out right. I'm starting to have abstract thoughts. A lot of my videos will be a lot more thoughtful, a lot more in-depth, because of the thoughts I'm having. Because I'm looking at the gods in different ways, I'm starting to... I believe I'm starting to understand more about what the gods are about. They're not just a group of sagas. They're not just a group of stories. We all know the gods are real. But most don't realise that they evolve. They change. You know, and, and what about some of the... Uh, Modern sagas, you know, the stories of life now. Where's our modern morals? I mean, the last of the, the great stories, I think, was um, probably Beowulf. But people think Beowulf's a story, just made up. Beowulf's not a story. He lived in the Northumberland Mountains. Everyone in Northumberland seems to know. You go by Rothbury where the mountain is and he, his fortress is on. Everybody there knows about Beowulf's fortress. I knew nothing about it until I visited a friend of mine up there. Uh, he told me about the fortress and it's up on the, on the hills. Very little to see now, but it is there. Same as King Arthur. Everyone think that's a myth. A lot of it is. Excalibur. Um, all the knights, the round table, that's all a myth. But Arthur did exist around the 5th century. He was a famous um, general of the Britons. And every time he turned up in a battle, the battle won. The Britons won the battle against the Saxons. Every single time. So what the Britons would do is that whenever they were facing a Saxon army, it's us uh, King Uthras with me, Arthur. Uthra Pendragon. So he's with me. And the Saxons used to run off. That's where the legend started. Arthur was a general. 
Look at the storytellers made of it to a king. But he was a great British hero. We've had Saxon heroes, Nordic heroes, Norse, uh, heroes from Norway, Denmark, Iceland. Very few true Britain heroes. I think Uthra was the last great hero we had. Beowulf was a Saxon. He's still British, but still a Saxon. But he was very important to the British philosophy, and we learned a lot from it. So let's start looking at the more things where people think are just just stories. There's a lot of reality in these stories. We start to need looking more into them. Read more of the sagas, different versions of them. Now soon we're going to have to be. This lockdown's going to be over, and we're going to have to all slip back into reality. And when we do that, it's going to be difficult. But there's a few, especially in the northeast of England, who are trying to get together and take this out of the lockdown into a reality of a Nordic, Norse community. Good luck to her. We will try our best. We'll bring arts, crafts and everything back to the people of the North East. Which is a good thing. Well, I don't know if you can see, but there's a robin trees there. As you can see, they sing it away. Some trees are still enjoying the summer. But trees like this one are very lovely. That's life. Life's never planned. People change at different rates. People learn at different rates. You need to accept that. You know, this video today isn't really meant for Facebook. It's made for me, YouTube channel, for people that listen and pay attention, not just for putting on random pages. I mean, if any of you want to share this video, please do. You know, please share this video. Um, and anyone that sees this video that's not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Press like if you don't like. Press thumbs down. But if you're going to press thumbs down, let us know why you're pressing thumbs down. It's no good just saying, oh, I don't like that. Tell us why you don't like it. Again, if you think I'm talking shite, tell us. So you're brave, well, if you're talking shite, give us a reason why I'm talking shite. Okay, that's enough for me now. These videos are getting a bit longer, which is probably because I'm getting a little bit more confident in the videos because I don't like my own voice. I hate my own voice. Uh, not as much as Donna hates my voice, but, you know, I, I don't really like my own voice, but there's not many people putting thoughts out there at the minute. I like to see a lot more of you doing it. Okay, then. stay safe, everyone. Hail the gods, hail Tia, hail Air, hail the Old Father, toodles everyone, bye.